is up my britches if you are new here hello my name is Brittany I was a little early on that one but guys happy hope day it's favorites and fails time but you know what guys I'm gonna switch it up from how I usually do it I think going forward depending on what you guys think of this I'm gonna do favorites fails and follow-ups and I'll focus mainly on if I buy like a collection like this week it's gonna be like the NARS summer solstice or just products that you really haven't heard me follow up on. And in the future, I'm going to ask you guys in advance, like, are there any products that you guys want me to follow up on? You get it? That's what I'm planning. And then I'm going to use it all today. How's that sound? If you guys like these types of videos, don't forget to thumbs it up or thumbs it down. I'm good with either one. Subscribe if you're new because the more the merrier. Follow me on TikTok, guys. I'm living my best life. I'm having so much fun over there. Instagram, y'all following me there yet? It's all in the description box. All the products that I'm going to mention today are all in the description box. Let's dive in. And it's going to be like, get ready with me. It's going to be a situation. The only thing I do not feature in these videos are palettes because most likely tomorrow I'll be doing my like March palette rankings. You get it? And then shortly after that, guys, I did it. I bought the new Fenty skin tint. So I'm going to do a testing new makeup, I think, after that. So we got a lot of shit coming at you. How's everybody doing on this fine home day? What are we drinking tonight? I just got flavored water. That's never fun, but it is what it is. All right, first things first. I'm gonna start with, I'm gonna start with makeup. I have some makeup, I have some hair care, some fragrance, and then I have four fails, like epic fails, guys. Get ready, they're coming towards the end. So let me find my little hair clip so we can start putting this makeup on. How's everybody doing today? Girl, Heather says you really are having fun on TikTok. It's so much fun watching your videos. It's just so different because I'm just like, I'm just posting whatever the fuck I feel like doing. I'm following the trends. I'm doing, I did a Dior wear test on there today. It, I'm living my best life, guys. <laughs> so I'm going to start with current favorite primer. Oh my God, this one size primer. I fucking love it. This is not like, technically featured but i gotta throw a primer on so i really like this for the inner part of my t-zone i'm just gonna slap this on because this is not a big focus but i figure we'll chill out it's hump day why not right let's get this hair this piece right here drives me crazy my cowlick oh my god or my widow's peak is that what you would call it i gotta put some charlotte tilbury hollywood flawless filter I almost forgot to mention this in my Sephora VIB sale recommendations, but I caught it. So guys, I asked on Instagram today on my IG story, I'm like, do y'all want me to do, because if you missed my Sephora recommendations, I did <laughs> like an hour and a half worth of favorites. And I was thinking about doing a more like smaller concise lip list. So like my top 10, and then I still have to do my worst products at Sephora. So maybe I'll do that in a couple days too. The worst products I've ever purchased at Sephora. We'll go, we'll take a stroll down memory lane. <laughs> but um, I wanted to ask about the top 10 because I'm like, I feel like a lot of people really liked how I did my video. But in the event that you don't want to sit there for an hour and a half, some people might just want the top 10. Let me know your feedback on that. I'm going to go on next with the Tarte Ultra Creamy. I considered putting this in my favorites, but I've only been using it for like not even a week. But so far, guys, I'm really enjoying this. Like I like this so much more than the original. I just think it looks so much more flattering on me. It's definitely not like insanely high coverage, I don't think. I think it has a really nice coverage, consistency. It reminds me a lot of the original, except it's more flattering, I think. So if you like the original, but it was a little bit more drying, you may like the new creamy. Let's see. <laughs> I know, how's the weather? Guys, it's supposed, to, it was like 70 out a couple days ago. It's supposed to snow. <laughs> Where are you guys all watching from? I'm upstate New York. So we're supposed to get, I think, a few inches of snow in the next couple days. Oh, man. Leticia says, maybe you can do top product from each brand, like foundation. That's, I mean, I guess that's kind of along the lines. I think how I would do the top 10 would be, if I'm shopping the sale, if I didn't have these products, these would be the top 10 I would get almost. 
I don't know. I'm still toying with that idea, but I still think the last one I did was really good. It's just hella long. So watch it on like two times the speed if you haven't watched it yet. Let's see. Or your favorite products from each brand. That's so difficult. Oh, I see. Watching from Chicago. Yes. Someone on TikTok thought I was from Chicago from like my accent. <laughs> I'm like, I don't have an accent. <laughs> but yes, I do. We've got Brooklyn, Michigan, Michigan, Southern New Hampshire, I believe. Michigan, other Minnesota. Minnesota. That reminds me of, oh my God, did anybody watch wrestling when they were younger? I think it was like Shawn Michaels. <laughs> He'd be like, Minnesota. <laughs> All right, so there's some of the base. Let's talk about, we're going to do a follow-up on the NARS Laguna Cream Bronzer, okay? Little update, guys. This works so much better without the NARS brush. I still like the NARS brush. I like that better for cream blush, which I've mentioned this in previous videos. However, I feel like this works so much better. We need a smaller, like, we need a smaller version of this brush, but I'll, I'll use it anyways. The BK106, I think I could use my Luxie 512. It works so much better with this brush because it just distributes the product so much better. It looks crazy, but it will get better, I promise. It's not my favorite, like, if you were to say, okay, Brittany, if you're going to get a cream contour, that's an actual cream contour. That's a very key point in this sentence right there. Like, this is a contour shade for me. How this is considered, like, a sun-kissed bronzer is beyond me. I'm going to tell you get the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Fall, or the Hollywood contour one, because in my opinion, it's way better. But this shade will, like, look at the snatched. Granted, it's way intense down there, but it's, like... A very, very little of this goes a long way. So it's like, you have to be careful because you can't overdo it with this one. But I just make sure that I blend it. But I did want to mention because I really wasn't feeling this in my initial video because it looked like hot trash, especially when I started layering it. But man, oh man, like I started using it with this brush. And sometimes that's, sometimes that's what it is. Like I was using a new product with the new brush. So you really never know exactly what it is. So follow up on the brush. I prefer that for cream blushes. I do find though, like, I don't think I would buy it again, just being honest. I like the shape of it, but I do think it could possibly be a little bit too dense. And I just think like BK brushes for me, they just kill it. They kill it for synthetic face brushes. I just wish they would do more, you know? So this is the brush that I've been preferring to use for this product. And like I said, it looks crazy, but it will get better, I promise. So there's a little follow up on both the NARS and I don't even know where the brush is. Oh, this brush. It's this brush that came in the, I don't even know. They called it like the Summer Solstice Collection, but this isn't technically Summer Solstice. It's like the Sun Kiss Cream Bronze or something. It's this brush that I'm talking about. Just a little bit too dense for my liking, but it's all good. Moving on. This is another product I wasn't too keen on when I first used it, but the more that I've used it, I have a hard time not, not using it. Ashley says she thinks it's too pigmented and brown. It'll get better. <laughs> It'll get better. So the Dior Forever Natural Nude Foundation, I'm wearing the shade 3.5N. So when I first got this, I think I was just expecting more. I was expecting it to be like more coverage and once I kind of got past the fact that it wasn't that, this is what I want to do. Because I see I got a little, a couple little pimples down there. I make sure that I go in and spot conceal those areas first. And it's like, if it peeks through, it's not the end of the world for me. I'm going to put some right here, here. So it's more of, I just make sure everything is covered before. I should have done that when I did my eyes and stuff. But And then I'll just gently blend over the top. But this foundation, it's so skin-like. I think Dior fucking nails it when it comes to foundations. This fra- or this fragrance. This foundation does have a fragrance to it. It almost smells like- It smells like something so familiar. It just, like, I just immediately am like, it smells like Dior. <laughs> but that literally does nothing for the people that have never tried Dior before. 
But like I said, I just think Dior does foundation so insanely well. And then the reason that I don't mind going too crazy with the contour right there is because I almost like marry everything together anyways. So it doesn't look as nuts when I go over it. But like I said, I still would recommend the Charlotte Tilbury one over the NARS. So it's just a very light coverage foundation. I think that, I don't know, because usually when you have light covered foundations, they can usually build up. I don't really think this one builds too much. It's, I think it's just meant to be very light coverage. And like I said, I'll just marry over everything. So I have a very little amount on my brush when I go over like the bronzed area. And then I'll still go over like the area that I put concealer. Is this helpful for you guys for favorites and fails and stuff like for you to actually see me using everything? I feel like, I feel like since my videos are all live <laughs> that you guys always see me use the products, but I'm always interested in your guys' feedback, like what you look for in these types of videos. Cause I love watching favorites and fails, but if I'm not like watching all of the creators content, it is kind of like, well, how do you use it? And I think especially since I do my makeup a slightly different way, I think, than most. Like, most people do a full face of foundation where that's such a light layer. But it looks like my skin, but better. Like, I could still see, like, the texture and stuff, but it doesn't look emphasized. It just looks like a healthy, like, veil on my face. And I think that you could still see some, some, like, uneven tones I guess you could say like uneven spots on my face like you could still see them peek through which I think for some people especially in the summer I think some people will really enjoy that because not everybody wants a fucking full face KVD bomb moment where it's hella like hella coverage that is not like I see that going viral on on TikTok and I'm like that is not coverage that interests me whatsoever because I mean, I should try it, but in my mind, I'm like, I feel like it's going to accentuate my texture so bad. <laughs> uh, Leticia says, I like when people use the products they're talking about. Yes, love seeing. Okay, so I'll keep that in mind for future. But you see that healthy just glow that this gives to the skin? Like I said, I think if you're interested in something that's super light coverage, but it looks very natural, and as long as you're good with doing your concealer before... It looks like, you see how you can still see it peeking through a little bit? It just looks natural. It doesn't look like you have like a full face of foundation on. So I don't think this is for everybody. But for what I look for in my foundations now, especially as I get older. And like I always say, like my texture and my pores is such a like insecurity of mine when it comes to makeup. Because my face doesn't look like a fucking doll. You know? I just, I like that because it's just ultra flattering. And it's just. It's just nice, okay? I judged that way too hard when I first used it, and I'm so much happier since I've been using it more. That's a fail. We're going to talk about that later. So let's move on to powder. Okay, I got to do... Guys, I can't get enough of this one-size powder. Such a good powder. I just saw Nicole says Scott Barnes technique. Scott Barnes changed my fucking life. That's exactly where I learned this from, with Scott Barnes. He is king. Love his work. I love that series. I think he's got the 60s coming up tomorrow, the series that he's been doing. It's so fun. So I've got my little beauty blender puff, and I just focus this right on my under eye and where my large pores are. This is the one size translucent powder. Who's hyped about him coming out with foundations? I was hoping for a liquid foundation, I'm not going to lie. But we'll be li likely talking about that in next week's makeup releases. <laughs> Did anyone get the new Dior bronzers from Neiman Marcus? I think I saw Gigi's Beauty. I'm pretty sure she posted a video on those today. But I will tell you, Gigi makes everything look good. <laughs> I'm like, does this bitch make anything look bad? She's so beautiful, I can't even deal. So that's all that I do for the one size powder because, I mean, I could use this all over my face, but I have another powder that I'm going to be talking about. So I've also been very like setting spray happy. Like if anything, I've been reaching for this one because I got this from Chantecai and I like the spritz on this and I like the scent of it. It's got like a rose scent. So I like to spray the shit out of my face. I love how that smells. It's a very 
like you're just smelling a bouquet of roses. So I like to spray my face between a bunch of different steps. But moving to bronzer, little follow up on the NARS Summer Solstice. So this one, I'm not going to use this today because I feel like I've used this quite a bit. This is another one. The more that I use it, the more that I'm liking it. But I don't think I would buy this again. The packaging is 20 out of 10. They murdered it with this packaging. I'll be talking about the Summer Solstice eyeshadow palette in our, our next video, okay, with the palette ranking. So this has bronzer, highlighter. They're beautiful. It works better for me with my Ch Chikuhoto Z8. I didn't think it would work that well with that brush, but that's been another love. I need to link this down below because ever since I did my Beautylish gift card event, I've been using this. I'm like, why did I stop using this brush? It's so bomb. It's so expensive. But this one, I'm just like, it's fine. The highlighter's a little bit deep, so I think this will be ideal for me in the summertime. Not necessarily for right now, but I have another bronzer that I've been preferring over this one. So this one, it's just a she ain't. She ain't. She ain't my fave but she ain't bad. So moving on to the bronzer and then I'll do my other powder because I like that other powder is like a veil situation. So the bronzer that I've been most favorable to because I think it just looks beautiful is the Dior, the face and body powder, no powder. So technically this is just a pressed powder, but I bought the shade 4N for a bronzer. And bitch, do I love it. I haven't used this powder with this brush yet. So let's see if it works today. I'm just gonna gently go over because I didn't put powder over the outer perimeters of my face. I just think this powder just looks so natural and beautiful because it has such like a subtle sheen to it. You see how pretty that is? And it's so flattering on texture because I have a lot of texture on my cheeks. It's just beautiful. This is now available at Sephora as well. And it almost has like a blurring effect. You see how like on my little freckles right there, you see how they just look a little bit more blurred? It's just one of those things. It, this reminds me of like an hourglass powder. You know how I always say that I love that about hourglasses, how it's like face tune. <laughs> I feel like this bronzer has it, but I think I could have went a little bit darker than this shade. So I think I might have to grab another one of these, but my eyes are on the Gucci bronzer for the VIB sale. But I've just been really liking this brush for bronze, like pretty much all cheek products, but it's this... It's this sheen that it gives. It looks so pretty. Let's see. Will that, will you try that powder to set or recommend to set? I can't, I can't say because I don't have a shade appropriate for that. I mean, it's basically setting like the outer perimeters of my face and it's fine. You know, this side looks, I see like, a, it looks weird on camera, but it doesn't look that way in real life. It looks like patchy right there. Or it looks like gray. It doesn't look like that. I'm like, what's happening? Weird. It must be like the shadows or something or just my lighting. Because this side looks really nice. I don't know what's going on. Maybe in my cart by mistake for VIB sale. <laughs> yeah, same. <laughs> Adds to cart on accident. It is. It's so... I, I seriously feel... Let me try to make sure I'm like in Zoom. Doesn't it look like it's, like, face-tuned right now? That's, like, gnarly. Babs Beauty got it in 5N and it looked pretty dark. So maybe this is a decent shade for me, then. I'll have to try it with not using the NARS Laguna bronzer under it, but... Oh, no. I think it's just, like... I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I'm gonna stay on this side because it looks really good. <laughs> I don't know what's... It's just like right there. Do you guys see that? Fucking weird. Hold on. In real life, it does not look like that. This is tripping me out right now. Guys, I assure you, it's not gray in real life. <laughs> you have a sun-kissed glow going on. Like, I love how it's like sun-kissed, but it's so natural. I love it. I love it. I love it. Now, moving on to my next powder. This is the Gucci. Now, this I don't use to set just because, like, I don't use it to set this area because I personally just prefer, I just prefer a loose setting powder for that because I like to really push it in there. But this, I like to just, this is why I love this brush because I could use it for everything. I just like to dust this 
all over because it has like that veil type of effect to it. And it's just pretty. So I'm just going to set the rest of the face. It, it literally looks like nothing. <laughs> yeah, I can tell when you point it out. Yeah, it's just like, what's happening right there? It doesn't look, maybe when I put the blush on it, it won't look like that. But I don't know what's happening. But in real life, it don't look like that. Disregard everybody. <laughs> oh, wait, I forgot to put some on my nose. Push them on the schnage. It looks like a contour. It's got to be that Laguna underneath that's like pulling through on camera or something. Huh. Weird. I need, to, I need to get a restock of that Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood contour wand. Pronto. So these guys, powders of choice for this month, but for two very different purposes. Now, when I look at my skin now, typically I like to be even more bronze. I love me an orangey bronze, but I'll, I'll leave it there for now. I also have a blush. Where'd my blush go? This could be a problem. I thought I was prepared. Where the fuck is it? Hold on. Time out. I seriously had everything right here. How did it vanish? Oh, hold on. <laughs> oh my gosh. This blush by Vive. If you guys missed it, I did a shorts on YouTube. And I talked about my favorite blushes for spring. You know what? I'm going to use that same brush, the Chico Hoto Z8 again. I did my top five favorite blushes for spring and summer, and this is one of them. It's so pretty. It's hella intense, so I go in with a really light amount at first and build it. And that's one thing I like about this brush for these, because it applies it so much, like, softer. <laughs> because it's like... It picks up, if I use my refer brush, it picks up almost like too much. So I've been liking this brush a lot for these blushes in particular. It's so pretty because it has such a skin-like effect to it, but it's not like a, sh it's like a sheen, but it's not like sparkly. It just looks like skin. So, so pretty. You should do spray tanning. I do self tanning sometimes, but I can't be bothered. <laughs> It's so much work. <laughs> Let's see. Something goes missing. Blame the cat. For real. For real Z's. But you see how just pretty. It's just a pretty pink formula. I, it's, it's the formula that I really like. I'm not loving Piazza as much as I'm loving this one. This one is definitely the fave. I highly recommend using a microfiber cloth when using natural hair brushes. I need, I should have gotten that Sonia G like microfiber towel thing she had going on, but I forgot. <laughs> but I usually just like dust it off in between. But yeah, it does, it saves from washing brushes often and it's way softer than a color switch. Yes, definitely. Um, I just keep telling myself I don't need the Z8 because it's $111. <laughs> I know, so expensive. The V, or not the VIB, the Beautylish gift card event is when I got it. But I totally agree. Have I tried the Melt Cream blushes? I haven't yet, but they're on my list for the VIB sale. I'm going to get at least one. Okay, moving on. We just finished the face. I didn't really have like a super favorite highlighter as far as like powder, but these Westman Atelier, guys, I was sent one and then I purchased one. So I purchased the shade Brulee and then I was sent the shade Lit by a subscriber. And this shade Lit is so fucking pretty. This is what I'm going to use today because it has the most beautiful like purple iridescence to it. It's so nice. It's so pretty, but it's just going to give you a very, like, natural type of effect. I find that I like to apply this either, like, straight to the face or using my finger just because it is a little bit... It's not like a formula I feel that would pick up because it has that, like, wet effect to it. You know what I mean? But you see how pretty that looks? And I've tried it with, like... Maybe, you know what, maybe a beauty sponge would be ideal. I don't have any, like, ready at, at my fingertips, but. Like, I try to put this underneath, and it just doesn't look as pretty. I love putting this on top of my powders and everything. 
But it's like, I always have to make sure that I'm wiping it off because my makeup will get on it because it is white. So if you guys have any recommendations on other ways that you like to use this, let your girl know. But it's just like a dewy, iridescent purple. And it's so gorgina. I love it. Did you see the sneak peek of the Melt's new release for 420? I did. I saw it like the out outside packaging. I'm sure we're going to be talking about that in next week's new makeup releases. But look how pretty it is. And just, it looks juicy. She looked juicy! I love that. Especially for like spring, summer. That's a vibe. I'll have to try that with a sponge, but I just, I love that wet look. Oh, it just looks so sickening. Love it. I'll show you the shade Brulee as well. Brulee I like is more of like, almost like cream blush bronzer. I think I'll like this more in the summertime, like boat days. I think I'll like applying these even more like to the face, but when I got powders on, it makes me nervous <laughs> because I don't want it to disturb what's underneath, but it just gives that beautiful wet glow and it's so pretty. Let's see. I have been using a sponge with my Westman Atelier sticks. I'll have to try that. I have one from Ofra, but it's not damp or anything. And then all my other ones are dirty as all hell. I'm like, it's still, it works. It works like this right now. I just think it's so pretty. I love, I especially love Lit even more than I expected to because it has that beautiful iridescence to it. I've swatched this so many times for you guys, but just look how pretty it is. And you can even see like the wet glow. She look moist. <laughs> I know people love that word. I think that's such a pretty product, but it's one of those products that's like, that's the last thing that I put on because I don't want, sorry, that was probably really loud. I don't want to lose that like wetness, you know? So moving on from the face, let me spray my face one more time. Cause like I said, I've been, I've been very spray happy with this, especially Shantikai, but oh, I just love how that smells. It smells so good. Thank you, Shantikai. It looked fantastic. They sent that to me. <laughs> okay. So moving on. Let's talk about, let's talk about the brows. Can we talk about how good my skin looks right now though? I'm just saying. I'm just saying guys. Now, I said this in my Sephora recommendations. If you need a brow product, the Huda Beauty Bomb Brows is hot fucking fire. If you like a pencil type brow product, look no further because this is so good because it is so so tiny the tiniest tip that's usually not a great thing but for brows it is <laughs> so I like to just line I find that this formula it applies even better on the brows because when I first swatched it it felt so dry but on the brows, it's just pure, it's pure perfection. Like I could not have asked for a better brow pencil and it's not that expensive. It's like 17 bucks. So it's a little, it's a little on the pricier side, but compared to like Anastasia Beverly Hills, Benefit, I think that this is the least expensive. Hourglass was my, my next favorite, but I like this more than the Hourglass for the simple, like for the simple fact of I feel like I could be so precise with my brows. This color, I have the shade soft black. So I think this is the darkest one. I hope that they do a bigger shade range because I don't love how warm all of their shades are because like I don't have black hair. I was kind of surprised that I went with the soft black just because, but I feel like if you have black hair, this might not be dark enough, but it might be. I don't have black hair, so I don't really know. But I think it matches my brow hairs perfectly. Like, look how fast I just did that eyebrow. Right? It's in your cart. Yes. How much, how, what's the amount that it has? Does it say on here? It says 12 months shelf life. It doesn't say, and I don't have the box anymore, I don't think. Shit. I don't know, guys. I'm sorry. I'm not positive, but it's, to me, it's well worth the price. Just for the simple fact of how it's so, so precise. It's the, like the only thing I could say about it. I probably should have done my brows not live, but at least now you guys are actually seeing exactly how I do my eyebrows. I basically just sketch 
the underneath line and then I'll sketch like part of the top and then I'll go in and fill just the sparse areas. But this is why I like to have a spoolie because I've been known to get like too heavy handed with my brows and I think that's been my downfall with like all other products is I just go too hard. This just helps me like monitor how much I'm using because it's so fine. And I don't like fuck up as easy either. I just, I love it. And it's, it just gives you the most natural looking hair strokes, right? Like look how fast I just did those. That's unheard of for me. The only time I could ever do it that fast is if I'm using like an eyeshadow. But then it has like an unnaturalness to it. I mean, there's always a time and a place for a bold brow. But on like a day to day, this is how I would like my brows to look. And it's just easy. And then I'll just do like little do 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 do. Oh, she said it's 0 0.0008 ounces or 0, 0.0. I'm going to put that on the screen. In my mind, that does not seem like a lot. That doesn't seem like a lot. Or point, point zero zero two three grams. So, okay, researchers out there, what would you... Because I'm going to compare this to Hourglass. Hourglass, I would fly through. How much does that have? If anybody knows. <laughs> Your brows grow down. Mine do too, I think. Like, especially on the outer. I always have to just, like, edge them in certain areas. Let's see. That's beautiful, but if that's black, I'm going to be purchasing the shade Invisible for my brows. <laughs> Oh my god, you guys crack me up. Bridge! Oh, John B.A. is here. Hi, John B.A. <laughs> There's people that I always see. I live for it, guys. You guys are all awesome. Thank you so much for joining me. I do have a brow. You know what? Should I use it? I got a brow. F no, I'm not. I'm going to use my current fave. I've been using the Glossier Boy Brow a lot. I think it's good. I want to try, I saw Kosas came out with new brow products, or they're coming out with new brow products. I feel like there was another brand too that came out with brow products. I need to find, because I think this is good, but it's it's not like my all-time fave. So I'm on the hunt for a, oh, you know what one it was? It was the Charlotte Tilbury. I want to try that one. Because this wand is just a little bit thicker than my liking. The Charlotte Tilbury one looks a lot thinner. I'm like... I got like a, I got like a bald spot happening there. Hold on. We got to fix that. <laughs> hourglass is 0 0.001 or 0 0.04 grams. So hourglass has more. So I have to keep you guys posted on how fast I go through this, but I feel like I'm not using as much either because hourglass, it was really, it was really creamy, but hourglass was also more money as well. Boom. Okay, that's that's good enough. We're done with the brows, guys. Okay, so the Glossier Boy Brow, that's what I just used, but that's not technically a fave. That's just been the one that I've been using the most. I'm sorry, that was probably so annoying. Let's move on to mascara. Mascara sounds good. By the way, I see there's 141 people watching right now, and there's 66 thumbs ups. Guys, we need to change that. Are you enjoying yourself? You should thumbs it up if you are. Okay, carrying on. Let's go to mascara. We've got a fail. We got two fails for mascara, actually. Now, my favorite mascara. I think this might be one of my favorite mascaras, like, of all time. Do I have a... I'm looking to see if I have, like, a eyelash curler. I don't think I even do because I really never do that. Oh, yes, I do. Shiseido eyelash curler because I'm not going to put lashes on. I typically put false lashes on. But the other day, I finally tried, you know, I've been trying. I would say for the past, like, two, three weeks, I've been trying to not use false lashes, but then I usually end up putting them on because it's just not enough. But this is the mascara that I'm like, all right, if I were to not wear a mask, or if I was to not wear lashes, this would be the mascara that I would use. And it's the Scott Barnes, the Pumped Up Mascara. This makes my lashes look 
so fluttery. Like, I think I have trash eyelashes. They usually look terrible on their own, which is why I always wear false lashes. But this just gives me, because I always wear, like, the Ardell Demi Wispies or Wispies or the Kiss 11 or the 01. So super, like, fluttery, wispy lashes. That's my vibe, okay? And my lashes typically don't look like that. But I think it's a combination between, like, this formula because it feels so thin. But it's like I could add just layer upon layer upon layer of this. And it doesn't, it, like, doesn't clump. And it perfectly coats on my lashes. I'm going to try to do this relatively quickly. I used three coats the last time and I was like, okay, I could get down. I could get down with this and it's it's just it's not like super black but it's just black enough that my lashes still look natural you know how sometimes you'll wear like a super black mascara and you're like whoa it's like hella black this isn't like that and that's one thing that I personally like because if I'm wearing lashes it's typically because I'm wearing like no eyes or like a bronzer on my eye or something like that I was just so happy with this mascara and typically I'm favorable towards tubing mascaras because I usually like to just coat my lashes, throw some fucking mascara on and throw lashes on. You know, I'm usually, I usually can't be bothered and I just want it to be easy to come off. But in the event that you're trying to layer and I like the fact that I can get my top and bottom lashes. I also tried another one recently. I feel like this coats my bottom lashes better than any other mascara I've ever used as well. Like, because I don't have a ton. I don't know. It's just something about this fucking mascara. And I'm pretty sure that Scott has said that you could use this with lash extensions. But I'm not positive. But guys. Oh, I gotta stay in focus. Like, my lashes don't look like anything extraordinary. Let's give an uncomfortable zoom. They don't look like anything extraordinary probably for most people, but for me, I'm like, my lashes never look like this. Would I still put lashes on though? Yes. <laughs> just because they just look sad. Because <laughs> I don't really have much to work with, so take that with what you will. It's, to me, a good mascara, but boy did I try some that were problematic for me. So there's that. Now I've got some lip products and then I'm done with my favorites. So I've got three lip products. Two of them are from the same brand and one of them is from one of just my favorite lip brands of all time. So I'm going to start with that one. One of my favorite brands of all time, Prapa Beauty. They came out with their lipstick extension. These are the Power Pouts and they came out with the shade Moxie. I was waiting for Prapa to do like a pinky toned nude and it is, oh my God, it's so pretty. I love, love this shade. It's so nice. Their formula is just beautiful. This was my favorite formula of 2020. It's just so good. So they came out with reds, a little bit of deeper shades, but if, if I was to pick one, it is Moxie 100%. I love Moxie, Finesse, Victress made it limitless like i love so many shades that they have i even really like their deeper shades as well it's just i typically like like liquid lipsticks for stuff like that because i don't want it to get all over the place you know what i mean so moxie this is like it's perfection oh my god this is so fucking beautiful if you didn't snag at least this one and you love pinky nudes so pretty especially for spring and just the ugh, the sheen on it is stunning i love it so then, Chanelo came into my life. <laughs> so the first one I purchased, and then one was sent to me. I really enjoy this formula. This is the Rouge Allure Lacque, I believe, in the shade number 64, Exigence. The shade is not necessarily my favorite. I think I'll really like this for springtime. It's a more sheer, you know, it's a more sheer formula. Oh, yeah, for spring. Yep. But it's so comfortable. I've worn this quite a few times. And it's just, it's just pretty. Like, tell me how pretty that is with my hair color right now. I know. 
I'm just gonna slap this on so you can see it on my lips. I should probably- do you guys want me to, to try on Moxie as well? So this is 64 Exigence. It's so cute too. Like they're so tiny. So ideal for like wristlets or something like that. But it's this formula and it has like a beautiful shine to it. It's so nice. It almost reminds me of like it's, it feels like it would be like a tint because it's so thin and it's so comfortable. It doesn't dry out your lips or anything like that. I just, I really like this formula. So that one, definitely a fave. Let me try Moxie on for you guys, just so you guys could see it on my lips. I did a little TikTok moment with the Prop of Beauty. I actually posted it on Instagram as well. Oh, you guys are talking about Thrive. I love the Thrive mascara. Guys, I also, oh my God, that just made me remember. I finally cleaned like behind my vanity <laughs> and I found my Thrive Mascara but I threw it out because I don't even want to know how long it's been under there for. <laughs> All right let me show let me show you guys Moxie really quick. It's just so pretty. Look at that. Mm, yes. Hunty. Tell me that is not beautiful. Beautiful satin lip color. I can't with Prapa. And Code Britches, it's affiliate. Code Britches 15 gets you 15% off. They're 12 bucks, guys. $12 for a beautiful satin lip. Mm. Yes, I love it. I was so excited. I really want to try the new Chanel Rouge Coco Bloom formula. Listen, I'm at the point where I'm like, I want everything Chanel now. Oh, it just, it looks so flattering. My favorite thing from Chanel though so far, I think is that blush duo. I love that. It's so beautiful. This is probably a close second though. What is the name of it? I don't even know the exact name. I have it linked down below. This is the shade Tender Beige. Oh, Floral, Floralisa. Wow, I'm late, but I've never made it to a live stream. So hi. <laughs> well, let's. Let's do you another one better. Let's pull you up on the screen, girl. Hey, girl, hey. Oh my God, you guys crack me up. All right, so this, it's a liquid lipstick and a gloss. So let me show you. I've been wearing this in quite a few videos because I just can't get enough of it. It looks, in my opinion, even better when I have a lip liner on. But this is like a my lips but better shade. And this was sent to me by a subscriber. And I'm obsessed. So beautiful. So you let it dry down. Oh, it even smells good. It has like a vanilla scent to it. Beautiful. So I'm gonna let it dry just so you guys could see. But like I said, I think it looks even better with a lip liner. I think a couple videos ago I was wearing this by itself. And then the video after that I wore it with a lip liner and it looked totally different. So then when it dries down, it definitely feels... It's, it's got like a stick to it and it's a little bit drying, but then you have a gloss on the other side and it just gives you the juiciest looking fucking lips ever. Ooh! Like this is a lip. First of all, if you're getting married, I've seen so many brides wear this and now I understand why. Because all you have to do is just keep applying the gloss Mm. And it, it feel like it just feels so much better when you have the gloss on. So I put the gloss on the whole lip just because it feels more hydrating. But it's like, it does not fucking budge, guys. <laughs> the only thing that will budge is the gloss, but the lip product itself. And it's like, you could feel it starting to feel a little bit dry and you're like, all right, time to put more gloss on. It's stunning. Stunning. Again, shade Tender Beige is the one that I have. Number 69, I'm pretty sure. 69! <laughs> so those are all the lip products. Now, I'm going to do hair and fragrance, and then we'll get into the veils. Okay, so let's take the hair down. Let's appreciate it. How are you guys liking this so far? Are we into it? Like, this is a look. This is like basic bitch. This is me every day. This would be exactly what I would wear. If I wore makeup on a day today, 
I'd throw a bronzer in the crease and that would be it. Like this is just my face, but better. And that's what I really like about these products. So I wanna talk about this hair product, okay? Cause people keep commenting on my hair. People are always asking me about my hair. And I love it because I work hard on this hair, guys. <laughs> it's so high maintenance, but this is just one product that has made my hair even easier. So I'm gonna show you this picture. And this was today. So if you see this picture here, if you look at the color, the color is what we're talking about. So if you look at this color, it looks a little bit more worn down. It looks a little bit more purple. It just doesn't look like the vibrant pink like it does on this side. And this was probably, actually this was when I woke up this morning. This was when I got home and actually did my hair. So this is right after I took a shower. So with that being said, this is the Celeb Luxury Extreme Hot Pink Color Wash. So this is something that I just use. It's a shampoo, basically. That's how I use it. I'm gonna take this picture down. I just wanted to show you guys so you could see like, that's without having to dye my hair. That's just, this is basically how I'm upkeeping it. Cause people keep commenting on like how vibrant and like shiny my hair looks. And it's every time that I've been using this, people are saying that. So this has just been a perfect like in between. So I don't have to like dye my hair every week or so like that. So, cause I haven't done my hair, I think in like two weeks for it to still be this vibrant two weeks later has never happened. So this, if you have like fashion colors, something like this, like I know this brand Celeb Luxury, I have it linked down below. I know they have a bunch of different colors. I get mine from Cosmoprof, but I linked it on Amazon and I know they have like a website itself, but I think the link that I linked down below, it ships from Celeb Luxury. And I just know people like to use Amazon because you get two day shipping. <laughs> so this has been, this has been the product that has, you know, <laughs> how can you make the exact same face? <laughs> so this has been the product that's been keeping up with this hot pink, but they have a plethora of other colors. And then guys, I, I have to comment this or I have to leave this on here because you guys saw my reaction when I hauled this and it just smells yummy. Like Shannon has had a sinus infection, so he can't smell yet. I cannot wait for him to smell this because it just smells like I even smell my myself and I'm like, I could just eat myself up. It just, it smells so good. So this is the Killian Love Don't Be Shy. I highly recommend <laughs> if you like vanilla, this has, it's orange blossom, vanilla, and marshmallow are the notes in this fragrance. If you like any of that, because it's got like the sweetness of vanilla, but it has, I don't know, it's got such a yummy scent to it. So universal, like, cause I like to pick and choose the fragrances that I use throughout the year. This would be an excellent layering. You know, if you like to spray multiple different fragrances, like I can't wait to layer this with my Bulgari Omnia Coral just because I like to do that. And it's just, it's just like a sweetness, but it's sexy. There's, oh, if you guys did not see me smell this live for the first time, it just, it smells so good. It almost has like a candy scent to it as well, but it's not that sweet. It's almost like the vanilla kind of tones it down. Mm, it's finally back in stock in Sephora. Like I'm toying with the idea of buying a full size of this. That's how good it smells. It's so, so good. And this comes, like if you have been wanting this and it's in stock, click the link down below. <laughs> Add to cart because I'm telling you, this goes in and out of stock so fast because it's so popular. Rollerball size. I love the fact though that it has a spray. It's not an actual ball. You could spray it. This is $45, but the full size is like $250. And it would be worth every fucking penny in my humble opinion. So that is a fragrance. It like knocked me off my socks. Charlotte Holdcroft totally got me on that one. And it smells incredible. Oh my God. If you like that one, you'll also love Killian Princess. I have a feeling that Killian will probably be a brand that I really enjoy. But I need to cut my tits. <laughs> Let's see. My only complaint is the price. I have three travel sprays because I refuse to spend $240 on a 1.7 ounce bottle of perfume. I noticed with this though, I don't have to really spray a lot. So I think this will last me a while. I don't even care. I'm like, it smells like I have never smelled a perfume like that. It smells delicious. I love the way that it smells. So guys, 
that's everything that I had for the favorites. Now let's get into the fails because, wow. All right, let's start with the mascaras. First mascara, it breaks my fucking heart because I love this brand so much. But the Makeup Geek, the Extension Effect Mascara, this is the first product I haven't liked from Makeup Geek, which <laughs> it breaks my heart. I'm so sad about it. Like, I think this is a fine mascara. It reminds me a lot of the L'Oreal Voluminous, but I think L'Oreal Vol Voluminous is, for me, a little bit better because this transfers. This transfers on me and it transfers pretty quickly. And that's one thing I like about the Scott Barnes as well is it doesn't transfer on me. So that was the biggest, like, fail right there for me is just the fact that it transfers. I'm like... Oh, I hate saying that because I love Makeup Geek so fucking much, but that has been the first product that I haven't liked. But then the mascara that was even worse, like this is one of the worst mascaras I've ever tried. And I'm honestly not that surprised because I did not like the original that much. But the Benefit Their Real Magnet, first of all, my, my eyes do not like the plastic applicators that much that's like the only drawback with pretty much all too big mascaras except for i think blink i my eyes just don't react well to this but this did nothing <laughs> like this made my lashes just be like <laughs> it looked it looked horrible like my lashes never look phenomenal but this if your lashes could look worse after mascara, this did it for me. In my opinion, this is hot trash. Not a fan whatsoever. One of the worst products that I've ever gotten from Sephora. Good thing I didn't pay for it. This was like a free gift with purchase situation. Another product that I tried was... I'm so sad about this too because it's a new brand at Sephora. But this is the... I think it's pronounced Say. I was so excited. This is the Brow Butter Sculpting Grooming Brow Pomade. Like, when I saw this, I was so here for it because this is what I was talking about. Like, I love this idea because it usually just gets right in your brows and it keeps it really precise. I I would like to know where the pigmentation is on this. Just wondering. This is trash, in my opinion. I'm like, all right, let's try to scoop some more. Like... You should see a little bit more than that with how much I've been doing that. This is not it, sis. I was not impressed. I'm like, no. <laughs> no. I actually, I just saw Tracy said, I've been wondering about the Bite Mascara. I actually have that in my collection. I just haven't used it yet. So I'll try to use that next month, April. My birthday month. Ooh, I'm turning 30 again, guys. <laughs> All right, now let's move over. Let's move over to MAC. <sighs> MAC, how the mighty have fallen. First one, I got these for free and I'm still pissed. The MAC Gently Off Wipes plus my cellar water. They're soapy. These are soapy wipes. And you know what? I use wipes hardly ever to wipe off my face. Even wiping off swatches with these is a pain in the ass because it's soapy. <laughs> I didn't know my cellar water was soapy, guys. And it's like, you can't just pull out one. You pull out probably three every single time. Like, I was like, no wonder why I got these for free. I got these for free with these MAC Cosmetics, the black cherry blushes. I don't think I've ever been so disappointed in a blush. <laughs> I asked myself, I'm like, how do you fuck up a blush, honestly? But... This is the one I've been trying to use. It's Look, Don't Touch. I don't... It's like, it looks so pretty, like, when you swatch it and everything. But on the face, it just doesn't. It's just... You apply it to your face, you're like, where did it go? I hope I have better luck. There was another one that I got, but it was way too light. I'm just like, I'm just putting it in a giveaway or something. Or if I have somebody in my life that has super fair skin. But it was, like, light pink. This one, I'm hoping that I have better luck with but I'm really not like holding my breath like the formula feels nice it looks like it would be pretty but even like 
I don't know, even on my texture, I was like, there was just something that I have not liked at all about this one here. So this one was a fail for me. I haven't tried this one, but I will speak to the packaging. Like this packaging looks like it would be like luxurious. And it's just not like it feels very cheap. This is the only thing that's saving it for me right now. You know, it they're fine, but the only one that I would consider getting if your my skin tone is under my plum. These aren't even on Ulta's website anymore though. So I don't know if they pulled them. I don't know if they sold out. I don't know what the fuck the dealio is with them, but less than impressed for me with Mac lately. Cause I'm like, man, what happened to Mac, man? I don't know what happened, but no. So guys, that is everything for my favorites, fails, and follow-ups that I was going to do this month. Let me know what you guys think about adding in the follow-ups. Let me know in the future if there's, vid or not videos, if there's products or videos that you guys want to see in these types of videos. But I think that's everything. I'm, I'm, it's just so funny, like, looking back at my first impressions, like, especially, like, look at how my skin looks right now. And, like, the first impressions was such a different vibe. Like, the foundation, I wasn't a fan of at first. I wasn't impressed with it. The Laguna Bronzer, it's still not a favorite, but it's fine. It doesn't beat the Charlotte Tilbury. But it's, like, it's, I'm getting used to it. Like, I just tried new brushes. Like, this brush here, I like it more for cream blushes. I didn't even use a cream blush today, but it's fine. Um... Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's all I got for you guys today. I think all these products are fantastic. Everything is linked down below for you guys. Stay tuned for tomorrow. We're going to be ranking all of our eyeshadow palettes. I see that there's 160 people watching and 104 thumbs up. That's better, but we need to do better, guys. Come on, we can do it. We can do it. So if you guys are excited about tomorrow, I will see you guys tomorrow at... It's not going to be nighttime because I start overnights tomorrow. So this week, it'll, it'll be like a... Just stay tuned. Turn on your notifications so you get notified because I have no idea what times I'll be like. <laughs> so I've got, I think, six, seven palettes. I've got quite a few this month, so I'll be ranking those. That's what's in store. Oh, let's see. I'm seeing what you guys are saying. Oh, perfume collection. I know you guys still want that. I'm going to try to do that before the VIB sale because I'm pretty sure every fragrance that I own, you can get at Sephora, I think. There's maybe like one or two that you can't. Uh, do I have the Chanel Soleil Tan Cream Bronze? I don't. Because I heard that the newer one, it's not the same. So I never bought it. What was your guys' favorite that I used today? If I was to pick one, it's the Huda Beauty. That's fucking game changer. Love it. Dossier fragrances seem to be nice for the dollar. I've never even heard of them before. We shall see if I entertain those at some point. This one in a full size is on my radar, though. For sure. So guys, if you enjoyed it, I hope you guys give it a thumbs up. If you guys aren't subscribed already, subscribe and I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay, bye.